Start telling about his past to Fern that how did he came to this village and everyone here now depends on him as their savior. But in real, he wanted to run away as he was weak and his master also didn't see any strength in him as he was scared. Fern told him that. First, she was also scared, but when she tried for the first time to fight, she got victorious and gained her confidence. Later, Fern went to sleep, and as Fryerin had told Stark to help them to defeat the dragon, they needed rest. Next day, Fern and Fryerin went to the location where Stark should be, but he was not there, so Fern thought. He would have run away, but then he came and told them to go and defeat the dragon. After reaching to the destination of the dragon, Fryerin told Stark to go and defeat the dragon alone, but watching his hand shakes, she remembered who his master Aizen also stood against his first opponent, all scared. Then Stark stood up the courage and went to fight the dragon. In the fight, Stark did everything he could to defeat the dragon, and he slammed the dragon on the ground and shouted to Fryerin to come and kill the dragon as he is on the ground. But Fryerin told him that he had already killed the dragon. She remembered that Essex told her that Stark was his only pupil, and he was too strong that Aizen himself was scared of him. After the fight, Fryerin and Fern went near the nest of the dragon to gather what resources they needed and went on. Then Stark asked Fryerin and Fern to let him go with them on the adventure. After reaching to a town, they were let in by the guards and were told not to cause trouble as he didn't know that Fryerin is a mage. They then got separated and Stark went to eat ice cream as he ate with his master once and Fern joined him. They all wanted to go to the checkpoint. They were out for defeating the demons, but they could not go there as it was closed. Stark and Fern shared their memories about each other when they were little. As they all regrouped together, the guards saw them and came near and apologized as they didn't recognize Fryerin. The Cassilian of the city also came and asked for forgiveness for their rudeness. They were asked that they wanted to go to the north, so the checkpoint will be open for them as they seek it. They were told to go and defeat the demon king who is causing trouble there. While leaving the town, they were all given best wishes and Fryerin thought that she should have told them about herself from the beginning. As they all rested in the forest, Fryerin remembered his friends and how they traveled to north before. 28 years after the death of himself, the hero, they all were traveling to the north and on the path got in a work of clearing the path which was closed due to land sliding. Stark didn't want to help, but Fryerin used to help everyone, so he was forced to help the people who were also traveling from the path. After clearing the path, they were taken to a village by the person they helped, and there he told them that today is the day when Himmel the hero destroyed the demon 80 years ago and ruled the place. Fryerin remembered that how Himmel made a statue of them, all saying that by this he will be remembered as he will die soon, but Fryerin will live a very, very long life. As they entered the village, Fryerin suddenly sensed demons inside and quickly charged her wand to attack, but as they got near the guards, pushed her back to ground and arrested her. Lord Lugner, the demon, asked the king, their Graf Granat, that did he set this up, and he denied. They told Fryerin that she attacks a peace envoy between humans and demons, but she was shocked by hearing it. The kingdom ordered to arrest her and prisoned her, and she was taken to prison and locked up. In the prison, Fern and Stark talked to Fryerin, and she was shocked that it was really fast that demons have manipulated the people of the village. Fern told that it there is a demon aura the guillotine and Fryerin told that she defeats her back and Fern told that now she has regained her powers 28 years ago and is now marching toward the land to capture it. Fern told her that for a long time aura forces have been fighting this village, but now she is even stronger. And after a long time human decided to have a peace envoy between so that they won't die. Fryerin remembered that demons are no one be friends with as a long time ago. With when she was traveling with Himmel, a demon killed a girl, but was forgive as cute. She was little girl and talked cute, but then she killed the family that adopted her, and then Fryerin saw in her face that she doesn't know anything about family and just take to manipulate people, and she killed the girl. The demons in the palace were curious about Fryerin, as they remembered her face, but the memories were blur. Then the king called the demons to his son room and pointed the blade on their head and told that he wanted to take revenge for his son's death from a very long time, and now he has gotten a chance, but then the demon told that you killed my father, and now we are even doing the king let them go to the guest house. As the demons went out, the little girl in them asked the Lord about what the word father means, so he told that it is used to manipulate humans. After some time, Lord Draft, one of the boy demon came to meet Fryerin in the prison, and on his way, he chopped the head of a guard to enter. As Draft met Fryerin, 
He told that he is the one of the Aura Guillotine's executioners and will kill her, but Fryerin was not afraid and didn't have any reaction. Drat used his strings to chop her head off, but her magic was stronger than him, and after a lot of tries, she was alive, and with one single hit, she chopped at his arm, and then he started to speak, but she chopped at his head. As she then tried to leave the prison, she saw a guard dead body outside, and no one was there as Drat dead body was vanished. As Fryron ran from the king came to meet the demons and told them that the guards are dead and one of your boy is also missing and pointed sword on them. But this time the demons attacked the king and killed the guards present them with his blood magic. As Stark and Fern wandered around the village they met Fryron, who told that she was running away from the village as everyone think that she has killed a guard and told them to fight and kills Lord Lugner alone without her help. But still Stark begged her to kill the demons alone. That night Fern and Stark alone went into the castle and saw the King Graf tied to a chair. The demons were also thinking about a way to let the Aura army into the village and pass through the barrier. As Stark came to untie, the King Lord Lugner came into the room and tried to stop him, but he was really fast and the demon were shocked watching his strength. But as Fern got a chance, she attacked with Zoltrot, a demon killing magic, and then they all fled away, taking the king along them. Lord Lugner told the demon girl that his blood is on them so they can follow her but thought who was that girl who attacked him with such a strong magic and then he remembered that there was a mage Fryerin who tried to kill him once. After taking shelter a doctor fixed the cuts of the king and after he got up Stark told him that the guard was not killed by Fryerin but a demon killed him but the king already knew it and asked that the girl who I imprisoned was Fryerin then he has done a grave discourtesy as his family has a favor to her as she helped them. As Fryerin was running away, she met with Aura and his army who challenged her. The king also told Stark and Fern about why they could not defeat her as she has a magic with her that make the opponent with lower power to obey other. And because of it, a lot of my men have died. The army she has made was a man she had killed and made them into puppets. Fern asked then how can they defeat her so king told that a person with high power than her can only defeat her. Aura's soldiers were already into fight with Fryerin but they were no match and Fryrin was not even scared of her. Stark asked the king to stay in the church as the barrier surrounded it, but Fern was concerned and was worried that if the demons attacks, they will die. As Fern and Stark went out, Stark noticed blood on Fern clothes, but then Fern throw the cape away as it was not her blood. And while she saw the blood of Stark's hand, she realized it was on the demons. Suddenly the blood attacked Fern and pushed her back to walls and stacked her there. Then the demon girl came in and challenged Stark to fight and Lord Lugner talked to Fern. As Fern freed herself from the entangled blood, she started to fight with the demon and Stark also fought with the demon, but she was strong for her. Lord Lugner was surprised watching the power and speed Fern had and knew that she is trained by Fryrin. In the fight of Stark, the demon girl told that she knew how he fought as she had already fought with the master of him and know how will he react and in no time she defeated Stark. But Stark remembered his master training that never to give up and once again he stood up against her. Fern was using all her blocking magic and defending herself from Lord Lugner. But then Stark used his special attacks and sliced the demon girl from the middle and Fern used Zoltrok once again and killed the demons well. In the past Fryring used to have training by her master Flam and she remembered that her master told that demons always deceive their opponent by sweet talk. She also remembered that when she alone killed a demon flame came to the place and saw me with great mana and took me with her to train me. She was then carried by Flam to her home, but on the way some demon came to kill her, but Flam then killed everyone with one spell. And then she saw that how much powerful mana she had, and she was hiding her mana from her. Flam told her to deceive the demon just like they do, and to hide her mana from the demons, so they think as they are more powerful and when times come we use our mana to kill the demons. On the current time Fryrin was in front of Aura, who then took out her weapon the Scales of Obedience, which Aura used on others to control them as she had more mana than others. Fryrin estimated that Aura has lived 500 years and has gathered a lot of mana and is a lot strong right now. The scene changed once again to Fryrin and his master as her master became old and told her to use flowers magic on her grave and to kill the demon king till her also and told her to learn more and more magic to gain a lot of mana, more than anyone. And on her way of learning, she met Himmel and other and fought with them in the battle. Aura then used the scale and pulled the soul of her and Fryrin out and placed them on the balance and as Aura mana was more. 
She thought she had gained the advantage over her and took the sword out to cut her head. But as she got nearer to Fryerin, the scale started to change. Aura was shocked and asked that how are you doing this, so Fryerin told that she had learned this from a lot of time and can control her mana. Aura told that she had collected mana over 500 years, but then Fryerin told that she had collected more than 1,000 years, so how can she win against her, and then Fryerin ordered Aura to chop her head off, and she cut her own throat with the sword carrying and died there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos.